students welcome to your SST class i am your SST teacher and today we are going to learn a very interesting topic that is motions of the earth the term motion literally means movement so we will study about two basic movements of the earth one is rotation and other is revolution we have some little knowledge about these two movements the rotational movement of the earth is on its own axis. Earth takes 24 hours to rotate on its own axis in a full circle. Now, we are known to the fact that axis is tilted at 23 and half degree. But are we also aware about 66 and 5 degree tilt of Earth's axis? There is a mathematical calculation behind this tilt. So let us understand that mathematical calculation. You can see a diagram of earth on the board. Now you can see a horizontal line passing through the earth from very within. This horizontal line represents the plane of earth's orbit. Now what is orbit? Orbit is the path transversed by the earth during revolution around the sun. So it is taken to be a horizontal line. And you can see a vertical line in the center. It is the vertical line from the Earth's orbital plane. You should know that whenever we want to calculate any angle, we first of all take it in with reference to 90 degree angle. So we have drawn a vertical line here. When we measure this axis with respect to this vertical line, we get a degree of 23.5. Five, that is 23 and half degrees. So, with respect to the vertical line, it is tilted at 23 and half degree. With respect to its orbital plane, it is tilted at 66.5 degree or 66 and half degree. So, I hope this concept is clear to you. Now, moving on to the rotational movement of the earth. As we know, when earth rotates, Half part of earth faces the sun and other part remains away from the sun. The part which faces the sun experiences the sun rays, so it experiences the day. And the part which is away from the sun at that particular point of time experiences night. Now what are the effects of rotational movement? Yes, very good. They are day and night. But what if earth stops rotation? Earth becomes stationary. First of all, if Earth stop rotation. So, first effect that we will have, one certain part of the Earth will continuously have day because it will continuously receive the light of the sun and other part will continuously have night. Secondly, the part which is facing the sun will receive all the rays of the sun. So, it will become very, very important. And the other part which is not receiving the rays of the sun become very very really cold. And thus there would be no existence of life. And lastly, the ocean currents and the wind that we experience now, we will not experience it as the same way. So these were the effects if rotation would be stopped. Now that it is for your rotation. Now we will move on to other movement of the earth that is revolution. Revolution means the movement of earth around the sun. So while it rotates on its own axis, it also revolves around the sun. This movement of the earth has certain effect. That effect I will make you understand when we move on to the chapter. Now, rotation. The earth rotates in an orbit around the sun and this orbit is not a full circle it is elliptical part likewise you can see in this diagram it is not a circle it is an oval part now sun is not in the center of this orbit it is not situated in the center of the orbit so the distance of the earth is distance of the sun is not equal on the all the sides of orbit. In some places it is near to orbit. So the nearest distance is known as perihelion. And in one side it is far away from the orbit. 
the farther distance is known as aphelion nearer distance is known as perihelion the farther distance is known as aphelion now this revolution of the earth around the sun causes one main thing that we experience throughout the year that is seasons your seasons are formed due to the revolution of earth around the sun now how much time does it take to revolve around the sun in a year it takes 365 1 by 4th day so now what happens to this 1 by 4th day every year we get means 6 hour extra are they wasted no these 6 hour adds up to one whole day in 4 years so after every 4 year we add one whole day in month of february so we have 29 days instead of 28 days in month of february this year is known as leap year it happens after every 4 year now talking about the effect of revolution that is seasons now we shall study how seasons are formed let us understand this diagram on the board you can see on 21st june the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun means the northern hemisphere would face the sun the rays of the sun falls directly on tropic of cancer that means the region near the tropic of cancer receives the direct rays of the sun and they receive direct heat of the sun the region near the pole gets slanting heat of the sun so they get lesser amount of the heat of the sun now as the north pole is tilted towards the sun the area beyond arctic circle receives daylight continuously for 6 months now 21st june has the longest day and shortest night it is known as the time of summer solstice so this position of the earth when earth is tilted northern hemisphere of the earth is tilted towards the sun is known as summer solstice all about winter solstice that happens on 22 December. You can see in the diagram that southern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun. So now Tropic of Cancer is receiving the direct rays of the sun. So this region receives direct heat of the sun. So this region experiences summer. As you must have noticed that here when we were studying about summer sources, when there was summer in northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere was experiencing winter. That means seasons are always opposite. So now on 20 December, when northern hemisphere is experiencing winter, there are summers in southern hemisphere. Now we will understand about one more position of the earth that is known as equinox. Now, as you can see in the diagram, you have spring in the northern hemisphere and autumn in the southern hemisphere. This position is known as equinox. Now, how it is formed? At this time of the year, the rays of the sun directly fall on equator. So, whole of the earth have equal day and equal night. This position of earth is known as equinox. It happens on 21st March when we experience spring in northern hemisphere and it happens on 23rd September when we receive or when we have autumn season in northern hemisphere. So, this is how seasons are formed. They are basically the results of position of the earth during the time period of the year. So, we have understood today about two movements of the earth. First is rotation, second is revolution. Rotation causes day and night. Revolution causes seasons which are summer solstice, winter solstice and two equinoxes, spring and autumn equinoxes. I hope the chapter is clear to you. Thank you.